Yet again, Australian building consumers have had their lives turned inside out and their futures stolen by the latest string of builders going insolvent. The latest round going bust needs to be calculated and attended to at a national level. How many consumers and their families have been affected? How much have they lost per family? How many were able to claim the builder's warranty or insurance as a percentage of their loss? And how many builders did not have builder's warranty insurance, which is a mandatory requirement in most states? At best, builder's warranty insurance is what's considered junk or insurance of the last resort. The regulators are charged with overseeing the insurance requirements and the other financial checks and balances that are supposed to be in place. This is not just an unfortunate event. These failures call into question the actual efficacy of the state building regulators and those agencies that are supposed to exist to safeguard the interest of us, the consumers. We are the ones that pay for this. We only want what we paid for. We are not asking for handouts. This is our money. The Adelaide market is so small. When Felmary Homes, a well-known building company, went down, it has left at least 40 homes unfinished and 60 more in the pipeline. This is a very dire situation and has prompted yet another ministerial review into their own department's operation. We've seen it all before. We know the answer. The dog ate the hard drive. Lurching to the next crisis centre in Melbourne, the giant and previously well-respected Porter Davis Homes has gone under, reportedly owing an estimated mind-blowing $557 million to the mostly unsecured, leaving thousands of homes in progress with deposits paid. And then the past Premier, Daniel Andrews, weighed in. Again, no builder's warranty. No doubt there'll be another inquiry into building confidence in Victoria. To top it off, the Victorian-based Lloyd Group appears to owe $332 million in projects and yet another 59 under construction. It's also gone under adding to the state's consumers' misery, again taking their future as well as their savings. The Sydney scenario, EQ Projects has filed for bankruptcy, owing 40 to 50 million, with the majority of their projects apartment consumers. Additionally, Allura Homes is down and out, leaving another 39 projects in various stages of completion. Yet another group of families with broken dreams and unknown financial outcomes. Finally, Brisbane or bust, and most of their families are too. The Queensland consumers have not been spared. The list is long. ProBuild has gone bust, followed by Condev Constructions, followed by Pivotal Homes. Privium Proprietary Limited, Home Innovation Builders, and the Norris Construction Group all entered administration. Strangely, or maybe not, the number of consumers affected and the financial implications remain unknown because no one wants to own up to the fact that the regulators have failed. You and I alone cannot fix this. But my call to action is to make four phone calls every day, starting with... A call to the regulator, a call to your local member, a call to your state member, and then finally a call to your federal member. Nothing will change unless you make it change. Your problems have to become their problems, their collective problems. Otherwise, nothing will get done except you. You will be done. We have regulators, inspectors, certifiers, surveyors, ministers at the federal level, ministers at the state level, ministerial advisors and bureaucrats. We have local government. We have local government inspectors. We have emergency orders. 
We have state and federal ministers for consumer affairs. We have the Trade Practices Act and we have the Australian Consumer Law. What's it all worth to these families who've lost their money, their homes and their future? We have the Building Ministers Forum, the Australian Building Codes Board, the National Construction Code. We have the Australian Institute of Building Surveyors. We have the Housing Industry Association, Master Builders Association, Consumer Affairs Victoria, IPART in New South Wales, Australian Standards, the Building Code of Australia. We have the Master Plumbers. Most people think we need stronger regulation and legislation. We have plenty. Each state has its own. The notion of soft touch regulation is over. Soft touch. Proportionate regulatory response and providing authoritative guidance and advice. Well, it's all a furphy. It doesn't work. The regulators need to provide more oversight and adherence to the existing legislation and regulation. These crises show the urgent action that's required at a federal level to protect consumers' rights and interests. It's time to demand accountability. We deserve better because we paid for it. Remember, check those trusses, stay safe and stay informed.